Long before Maxime's became an international franchise brand, Maxime Gaillard opened his bench bark restaurant as a bistro in 1893. The location had formerly been an ice cream parlor. Gaillard completed his vision for his namesake restaurant with lavish interior trimmings. His timing was targeted towards the 1900 Paris exhibition and an incoming international clientele. Ceilings were furnished in stained glass accompanied by murals of nymphs and Art Nouveau decor. His strategy and foresight succeeded brilliantly. Maxime's became the international cutlery and social center of Paris. During that era, it became renowned as a place to take your ladies, but never one's wife. Throughout the early 20th century, Maxime's attracted and cultivated a bevy of celebrities, politicians, and wealthy patrons. Their reputation for elitism never slipped. Despite subsequent financial difficulties during the Great Depression and the World War II German occupation, Maxime's remained the destination to see or be seen. The French resistance closed the restaurant following the 1944 liberation of Paris. It would reopen in September 1946. During the post-war years and subsequent decades, Maxime's expanded internationally, frequently licensing the name and trademark. Fashion designer Pierre Cardin would once be denied service when he arrived wearing a turtleneck instead of a dress shirt and bow tie. Cardin would eventually purchase Maxime's in 1981.